what is up you guys you're watching Sergio Seeker before I get started with today's video today I decided to play with foundation and makeup I'm not sure how it looks like how it looks like the Sephora VIP sells a few days from now so I just decided to play around with things just because I want to get a new foundation and I kind of don't really like the one that I'm wearing I don't I, I honestly I forgot how to wear makeup so I guess I have to ask one of my friends to teach me how to do it. Embarrassing coming from somebody who used to like makeup like back in those beauty guru days. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. This video guys, what we're going to be talking and discussing about, and it's going to be an open discussion video. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, your thoughts, I would love to hear it down below. Let's keep the conversation going. And I do post a live stream uh, every Friday at 7. So I believe this video is going to go out on Saturday. So next Friday, there'll be a live stream at 7. Today, we're going to be talking about the current price increases of just everything, mostly into the fashion world, and also why I'm kind of bored of designer handbags and why I'm kind of a little bit out. So a lot of you guys know my opinion about a lot of these brands. You guys know I used to like Dior a lot, but then I just felt like the price points didn't match what it was and you know I still love Dior I think Dior is such a beautiful heritage brand I just think for for my budget and within me and if for me it sounds so weird to say that word of budget and like restrictions and stuff like that because I normally am a little bit more hammer into buying things but as I'm a lot growing a little bit older as like three years ago when I started this channel versus now I actually have a lot more responsibilities and I'm more thorough and thoughtful about how I spend my money I wasn't, you know, 18 buying a Dior book tote that's $3,000 because I lived at home. I actually have investments. I have people that depend on me. I actually have things that I would much rather. Yes, I can go right now to River Oaks District and buy a Dior saddlebag or a Lady Dior and keep it pushing. But I have other responsibilities and my mind is more in a mindset where I would love to spend that money on other videos, create more cameras. Like I just would much rather spend $5,000 on other things. and. And so you guys have heard me talk about Dior, you guys have heard me talk about Louis Vuitton, how I just feel like the quality doesn't match the price point, and especially in now with Chanel with all these ridiculous price points and with all these designer brands, and it's really left me a, a, a kind of a disgusting mouth. For me working at Nordstrom, you know, the prices that I knew that a lot of these bags were when I started working at 18 to 21 now, or even like younger, like I remember Fashion File going into the website, pre-loved and seeing how much these pre-loved items went for for versus what they go now it's just become absolutely insane and so crazy to see how big of a jump a lot of these price points have been going like it's absolutely crazy and so therefore i've just been a little bit kind of mia on designer handbags the last designer handbag that i purchased is my saint laurent 5.7 bag which is right there and that's a bag that i knew i was gonna get a lot of wear i knew that i loved it and it was a reasonable price point it was i believe 16.90 versus a lot of these other designer handbags honestly to get a really nice designer handbag you're spending that's like maybe not a small size like that let's say like a bigger size that's leather you're spending over $2,500 and up a product a leather bag, a Prada Galleria bag is over $3,500, a Lady Dior is over $4,500, Louis Vuitton, just not even a basic, let's say like a mid, like a decent one, you're spending over $2,500, you're spending so much money on a handbag, and a lot of these trends kind of come and go, we saw, you know, Prada bag that's been kind of in, in that's in, that everybody's been sponsoring, we saw the Dior Vibe bag, which I actually hate, you guys saw me put that on my anti haul in the beginning of the year, or at the end, towards the end of December, and so I just like how these bags are being pushed to us and within the price points and the quality not matching I think that's all been a combination that's been and then kind of me just kind of growing up and maturing and you know everything kind of raising around me other than the fashion world it kind of put me in a position where I just am a little bit more thorough and thoughtful about a lot of my purchases and that's why you've been seeing me talk about on this channel a lot more of contemporary handbags uh, you guys know I've always loved contemporary handbags that you guys know even since the beginning of my channel I've preferred contemporary handbags. I love designer items. Don't get do not get me wrong I love carrying my Bottega pouch. I love carrying you know um, Saint Laurent. I love carrying Chanel. I love carrying Givenchy not as much and not as proudful as I once did Now I'm a lot more happier and I'm a lot more content with carrying a lot more of my contemporary brand bags you guys have been seeing me introduce a lot more contemporary brand bags and talk about more of my favorite contemporary brands like jacobs troy birch michael kors hammett uh pull um, pinko longchamp 
you've been seeing me talk a lot more and I told you guys at the beginning of the year that um, I'm gonna be switching I will still talk about designer handbags like I want to do a dedicated video for Loewe um, I think designer brands that are underrated that are make beautiful bags like Salvatore Ferragamo, Bulgari I do want to make those videos um, and, you, and I will still always talk about designer handbags I'm my handbag channel, I'm an accessory fashion channel so I will always talk about all the handbags that are out in the market I think for me as the purchasing power I feel a lot more happier and I feel like a lot more can you know under a thousand dollars under two thousand dollars on a handbag I feel like that's something that I you know right now I can go to the Houston Galleria you know walk around Neiman Saks Nordstrom and if I see a bag that's under maybe let's put under twenty five hundred dollars or under two thousand if I really love it if I already kind of had my eye on it there's an Alaya tote handbag that I really love right here it's twenty two fifty I already have some Alaya white sneakers I feel like nobody has Alaya handbags I've yet to see somebody carry one um, I think the leather is beautiful and you have to know what it is it's a little bit more coated luxury and so for me it's something that I love maybe a Goyard bag just because you don't see a lot of Goyard just because their distribution of their items are a little bit more limited or Bulgari bags their distribution of their items and their items are actually very very high quality items so you're gonna see me change my direction into the designer handbag space. I feel like the contemporary is going to be what it is now. I'm gonna be buying from Coach, you know, a lot of my favorite contemporary brands. But you're definitely gonna be seeing me add a lot more contemporary brands this year than designer than what you've been seeing in previous years. Just because I just kind of get more thrill and more enjoyment out of my contemporary handbags recently. Um, I just really, really do. I, I get so excited to wear my pinko bags. I get so excited, well, bad, not bags. I get so excited to wear my Troy Birch bags, to wear, you know, my Marc Jacobs bag. It just brings me so much joy just to even see, like, my bags. It just, it brings me so much joy just to see me wear them and, and you know, use them. But also, my other point is, even contemporary handbags, even contemporary things in general has gotten up. Troy Birch recently had a whole price increase within the entire range of this brand. It used to be six ninety eight. now this is seven forty eight. So now, if you're talking a decade ago, you know, when I started getting into the beauty guru fashion space, you know, a, a, a decade ago, a Louis Vuitton Everfull was like $980, or I believe $890, something crazy, something very similar to this, not far off from a price of a Troy Birch bag. So for me, also contemporary price points have been going up. A Troy Birch Miller sandal, the iconic Miller sandal, now $238 from $198. Uh, these contemporary brands have also been going up, but I can see why the rise of just everything just to brands to even offer free shipping on their items to ship their items to wholesale Everything has been kind of going up and so for me Yes, I'm just been a lot more thorough about a lot of my purchases And I'm also a little bit bored of just the typical brands that you've been seeing a lot in the designer space You know, I love 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 all my classic and heritage brands but I've just also been into other brands like Ethro bags. Ethro bags have also been on my radar. A heritage brand, but I, they, I think they're so underrated. Lavon handbags, I'm mean, probably mispronounced it. Bulgari, um, you know, even though it's a jewelry brand, um, those heritage brands, I've, I've just been loving different items. And you guys know, I'm a very classic and core person. You guys know that in the way I dress, but I like things that are also have a little bit of a fun twist to them. Something that's a little bit different, maybe something that's a little bit characteristic, like my low wave vest about how has this leather trim throughout it versus the classic ones don't or maybe um, a Troy Birch Eleanor that's signed by Troy Birch or you know maybe a bag that you don't see out and about like this Kerpenny one so I, I like the idea of classic looking items but maybe just has a little bit more of a fun twist point you know instead of getting a Jock Moose even though Jock Moose is still very small compared to a lot of these other brands they're around the same price point but maybe this one you don't see this one as frequently maybe as a Jock Moose bag so you'll be seeing me kind of change my focus more onto contemporary brands and I'm very very excited for you guys I'm very very excited for that guys um, I will still show designer handbags when I'm trying them on in the boutiques and the stores and I will still purchase designer handbags do not get me wrong I love designer handbags and I will always purchase them no matter what but just the limitations and just the way I kind of go about it is going to be a little bit more different and a little bit more thorough and I'm going to be talking a lot more about contemporary brands because there's so many brands out there that I haven't even talked about their name on this channel. There's also like a lot of more designer brands like I said that I like Carolina Herrera bags, Goyard, like brands that are Bulgari that are out there but are just not super super common. I'm just a little bit tired of seeing the Louis Vuitton Neverfulls, um, the Gucci Marmonts, 
um, just those type of the Chanel classic flaps, even the Hermes Birkin and Kelly's. I just become they think they became a little bit too common, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that because you guys know I have a lot of basic items in my wardrobe. Girl. I'm still wearing my black skinny jeans. I'm still wearing my black uh, flat bags from Chanel. I'm still wearing my flat bags from YSL. So do not get me wrong. I still fall into that category, and I used to have a lot of those items a few years ago. So there's nothing wrong with those items if you love them and you enjoy them, baby. You spent your hard-earned dinero on it, so wear them, baby. Ain't nobody judging you. I'm not judging you for your bag. You know, you worked hard for it. Fair and score. You got it as a gift. You, you put blood, sweat, and tears. Baby, you wear it, baby. Not let me, the reason why you don't want to wear it. Don't let some fool on, on Instagram or on TikTok, you know, shame you for wearing a bag that you work hard for. If you love it and you get pride and enjoyment out of it, regardless if it's me, maybe not having the best opinion of it, baby, you wear it. You do wear it. You do your own thing, baby. But I just feel like I'm going to go into a different direction. And I feel like that is what pivots me. And that's what is what makes me more different than the luxury channel, the next handbag channel. I feel like for me, I kind of talk about a little bit more of different things than the typical Chanel, Hermes, Louis Vuitton, um, you know, um, you know those type of brands. I, I take a different viewpoint of the of the items, and I see the handbags m more as a work of art than just going on a ten thousand dollar shopping spree buying whatever without having kind of uh, a thought process or you know who is what is Bulgari, what does Bulgari stand for? Like you know, kind of going more into depth into these type of handbags. That's going to be my direction a little bit forward, and so see expect less designer purchases in handbags but more low-key brands or like brands that are not talked about that have amazing quality and expect for me to also talk a lot more about contemporary brands through all ranges i want to talk about kate spades i want to talk about the whole coaches i want to talk about you know handbags like charles and keith uh revisit pull in you're going to be seeing me explode into contemporary bags and I think my viewers really, really love that. I love my contemporary bags just as much as my designer. And I feel a lot more comfortable. And I think in this economics that we are at, I think a lot of us feel more comfortable buying, you know, a $500 handbag than buying a $3,500 handbag that people are gonna not in style a year from now. So you know, guys know what I mean, that you guys usually get my vibe. So, and also I wanna give my thoughts and my opinions on these price increases. These price increases have just been a little bit more crazy, a little bit more out there. You guys know um, I live by myself, you know, you know, living is not cheap. I will say I do live in Houston. Houston is not as expensive as Dallas. It's not as expensive as Boston, as, you know, Chicago or Miami. Um, I, I, even though I do live in the city city, like literally I live, I can literally walk to the Hermes store. That's how close I live to everything. I don't have as much of a burn as other people. So I have a little bit more flexible leeway, but I also have the mentality where Sergio can, I can never come on under. I always have to be on top. That's my mentality. I can never be under what you have to do to, you know, to, to make, to do things. So for me, you know, everything is usually fine. I think a lot more different shifts within the channel within my lifestyle. That's why I don't go out as much, you know, going out every, going out Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, which is a thing a lot of people do here in Houston. You know, that's like, $300 a night, that's $600 a weekend, that's six, twelve, eighteen. that's $2,400, that's a whole handbag, and I'm not putting, or that's like a whole trip, what I spend in a weekend um, is basically what I could, what I could spend in two weekends just eating out and partying is usually what I could, is what I can put into investing or what I can put into a trip or what I can put it into something maybe that matters a little bit more, maybe paying for those extra yoga classes, maybe getting that extra haircut. So I've just been a lot more thorough about a lot of the things and I see this kind of economy change also as a good thing. I kind of, like I said, I grew up a little bit more frivolous into spending. So am girl, like if I go into a circle and I walk in and I'm like feeling the fantasy, I might pull in by, you know, I'm feeling I'm maybe with my friends and I go into the store, girl. I may be, you know what, I want this, let's check it out. I feel like everybody kind of does that, not all the time, but sometimes. And so, I, I mean, I'm still gonna do that, but um, I feel like I'm just also, uh, I also want different things. There's more to life than clothes, fashion, and beauty, even though I love that and that's my bread and butter. There's other responsibilities to be taken care of and responsibilities that I don't necessarily have to, but like position yourself for success, you're positioning yourself for the long term. I'd rather be somewhere and financially stable in the long term than have fun in the short term. You know, even though life is not guaranteed, you kind of have to have that kind of healthy balance. And so, yeah, like, um, I just kind of wanted to give you an update about, you know, why I haven't been purchasing as much handbags, 
why I've been kind of disgusted and kind of not feeling a lot of the designer price points, a lot of these the cycle of these um, handbags. I feel like Louis Vuitton and a lot of these brands have become, and Chanel, I feel like they become the fast fashion in the luxury community. People unbox a Chanel bag or a Hermes bag every other weekend. It doesn't do it for me. It really, really doesn't. I don't see really the enjoyment. I feel like uh, it's just like, meh, whatever. Like, I'm happy for them. I'm thankful that they, you know, can get that, but it's just not me. You guys know I'm always, I'm always a little bit more different about the ways that I think and the way my thought process. I, I've always been a little bit more, um, you know, a little bit more on the right side. I go a little bit on the left side. They think I'm crazy, stupid, or whatever. But they may think you're crazy, but once you start making sense is when kind of people kind of like, they kind of see a different out point and viewpoint. Guys, I want to hear your thoughts and your opinions on this. Um, about all these price points have you still been purchasing handbags have you not um have you purchased more contemporary have you purchased more designer and another thing too i feel like you know i feel like a lot of these bags are not like they don't give me a lot of the traditional kind of mainstream brands and designer um you know when i see like 10 other people have it it just kind of makes it not special for me and i much rather like i said have another handbag that makes me special that makes me tingle like an alaya bag has been up my sleeve a Goyard, even though that is a little bit more on the popular ones, is not as popular as like some of the other monogram brands. Um, Loewe, you guys know I love Noah, my puzzle bag. That's one of my favorite bags in my collection. And, you know, handbag brands like that have been making me more happy, been tingling, have been, like, exciting. I've also been into Carolina Herrera and Ferrogamo bags. Uh, Carolina Herrera, Salvatore Ferrogamo. Esos son bolsas que también have been up my alley. So, um, you know, a lot of these other mainstream brands have just become, I just kind of put, like, a, have just kind of been, like, man, like, when I see a Dior saddle bag, you know, I like it, it's beautiful, I can appreciate it, but for me, it's just, like, man, like, it just doesn't do it for me. I, I don't want to be like another person having a Dior saddle bag. I, I want to have my own characteristic. I want to have something that's a little bit more different. Things I don't have. Like, I've also been into Miu Miu. I've been into Miu Miu more than Prada. Conversation down below. I would love to hear your thoughts and your opinions. Um, I just kind of wanted to give an update about all these price increases. Um, you'll be seeing a lot more thorough thought process purchases. Seeing me purchase more pre-loved items and a lot more of other brands that you have not seen me talked about. If there's any brands that you want me to discuss or talk about or if I like the brand potentially purchased from, definitely let me know down below. I would love, love, love to hear it. I love to find out about brands like that have been established for such a long time and I'm just not finding out about it. My mind is blown. You guys know I love to hear about all these different brands, all these different styles, um, different cultures, like as far as like handbags, like how it originated from. I love to hear all that. It, it brings me so much excitement than, than Louis Vuitton or Chanel. So let's keep it, keep it down below, guys. Keep the conversation and I'd love to hear your thoughts and your opinions um, down below. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And I'll see you guys on the next video.